Now, uh, there seems to be a demolition exercise uh, ongoing behind the Mamobi General Clinic. And we have on the line Emmanuel Akwe uh, to tell us more on this. Hello, Emmanuel. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. If you can hear me, what uh, time did the demolition exercise begin? Okay, the demolition started at midnight or dawn at 3 a.m. Uh, when I was asleep when I received a call from one of the affected victims that the municipal executives and the policemen, uh, armed police and military men, are here to uh, demolish the place. But before that, last Friday, I received calls from the same people. they telling me that this, uh, I mean, the uh, municipal chief executive and his people have sent them with a uh, notice for them to evict the place, giving them two, uh, three days ultimatum with immediate effect. And they also pleaded with the uh, municipal assembly, uh, municipal chief executive, to give them ample time, even if a month or two, for them to back the place. Because they are not saying that they will not back the place. But what they are asking for is to be given time to relocate and also uh, make sure that all uh, they, they pack all their valuables. But uh, the municipal assembly, uh, or the, the chief executive, and these people, I mean, I mean, stick to the institution and still carried on with the exercise. So I, I received a call, as I, mean, I said it earlier, I received a call at, at this midnight uh, indicating that the people are here. He, when I came to him, they were here with excavators, armed military personnel, police officers, and uh, executives of the municipal assembly. So we, I interacted with some of uh, their leaders, and they were telling me that, they told me that, I mean, they receive orders from a bus. Mm. That's why they followed uh, the executive to come and supervise the exercise. And mm. I asked them, does uh, military uh, personnel uh, engage themselves in land issues? They told me point blank, no, but because the call came from above, they have nothing to do. They can't do anything. So they have to come and supervise what has been asked to take, I mean, to go on. So they said exactly that the exercise started exactly 4 o'clock, exactly 4 o'clock on the dot. So as we are talking now, almost 150 or 200 people have been rendered homeless, almost 100 people have been rendered jobless, breadwinners in some family have been rendered jobless, and some uh, students as well have been affected. But some of the rooms here, I mean, most of the people have not packed fully, have not packed out fully before the exercise. During the exercise, one of the victims were nearly, I mean, uh, uh, I mean was, uh, nearly lost his life because he was not aware about the exercise, so he heard the noise. So when he was coming out to the street, I was where he saw that, no, this is what is going on. So I have some of the affected uh, people here that I would like to talk to and take uh, uh, further uh, uh, Clarence, from the said that people from this. It was good morning, good morning, sir. How are you? Uh, fine, sir. So can you tell us more about this demolition? Uh, this demolition, I don't understand what is going on because I know about definitely, I think the government and the D.C. and the assembly of our, or they come together to destroy, to destroy Ghana. Then they make their mind that they are coming to destroy Ghana. And we learn that they are going to sell the place to Chinese people. That is why we Who informed now. you that the place has been sold to Chinese? Uh, 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 some of some people, some some people, some people. Who so that 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 the bad thing? Because you have one place that they up there, they so they break that place, they spare that place. Hello, so Emmanuel. To do the same thing here. So Emmanuel. We have nothing to do because uh, the the law comes from the up, but we too don't have nothing to do because we don't have the strength. Um, yes, uh, we can't seem to get through to Emmanuel, but uh, he is a man on the ground at the ongoing demolition exercise uh, going on at Mamubi General Hospital right behind it. And he says that almost 150 people have been rendered homeless. Definitely we'll bring you more updates in our subsequent bulletin, so you should look out for that.